I probably watched the movie on, on television, you know, the, the John Huston directed Gregory Peck movie. Um, um, and uh, then, I, then I read the, read the book, uh, was obligated to in, in high school, but, I, but I, I was fascinated by it. I've always loved history, and even though that was a novel, it felt very authentic. I didn't know that Melville, in fact, had been a whaler and, and was writing about a, a world that he knew. I also didn't know that it was inspired by real events. And that's what really kind of blew my mind when I read this script and learned that in fact there, you know, there had been this occurrence. It wasn't some mythic idea. This had happened in our world. And uh, the, the, the idea to use today's cutting edge movie technology to, to do it in a way unlike John Huston and Moby Dick, uh, or even Steven Spielberg with Jaws, where, where you, you, you have to, you know, you have to give it a little, suspend your disbelief a little bit as an audience, you know. But instead, I felt like we could do it in a way that was completely immersive. I don't love the water. I don't love the ocean. I'm a, I can swim. I'm okay. I'm a scuba diver. I mean, I, I don't do it recreationally, but I've done it for work a lot. Uh, I, and so, uh, if I'm working out there, I'm okay, but it's not a place that I, uh, I feel comfort uh, uh, being out there in the, in the, in the ocean. And, and I think in some ways, I've always wanted to make a movie uh, about what it's like to be out there and, and, and alone and sort of build upon some of the anxiety that I probably feel about what, what that would be like. And uh, so with this drama, I thought, well, you not only get that, you, not only are the characters tested in a really extraordinary, dramatic, you know, and ultimately kind of inspirational way, but you, you have this cinematic opportunity to make a big screen movie that, that, that really transports people and, and deals with something that's kind of in the back of all of our minds. Uh, you know, what, what was it like? And, 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 and Moby Dick was real? You know, I mean, it's, it was just, um, you know, I thought a fascinating opportunity because it works on so many different levels. Chris is, uh, you, you know, he's he's a, you know he's a remarkable looking guy. He's a kind of a, he's a, you know he's kind of a specimen, but he's he's loves movies. Uh, he's a he's a very creative guy, um, and he has real passion for for you know what what he believes he can do on screen and what he can do on screen. And of course, I I only know him as a really interesting modern actor. That's what I experienced on, on Rush. And so, uh, you know, I'm not surprised at all by the way he threw himself into this movie. I am, I will never forget how uh, committed and dedicated all of this, the, the actors were in, in trying to respect their characters, because they're playing real men, and, and give the audiences, you know, everything of themselves to try to, to get this story to, um, you know, to, to, to really connect. Uh, on an emotional level, in addition to all the, the, the big screen uh, action, and I, I'm so I'm so proud of them. I'll n I'll never forget the kind of sacrifices they made. We were we were on the on the actual ocean for I don't know 60 or 70 percent of the time, which they liked because you know as long as they're making this commitment, they wanted the authenticity, they wanted the discomfort, and and whenever I would say you know you you you're really giving this movie a lot, and I really appreciate it, they would say, well, this is just a fraction of what the real the real guys were playing went through. So you know I had a lot of respect for what they were doing, but it was kind of hilarious at times because at a certain point. You know, I'd have my earphones on, and they'd have the microphones, and they'd be in the boat quite a ways away, and they'd feel like they were kind of alone. And in between takes, it would instantly go to food porn. I mean, it was all talk of pizza and, uh, you know, cheeseburgers and ice cream, and, and, and it was just as, as graphic <laughs> and intense a conversation as you could imagine. Tom is really a remarkable talent. He's now he's been cast to be Spider-Man. They, they, they couldn't have done better, in, in, in my opinion, knowing him. Uh, he's so talented. You know, he was one of, the, one of the Billy Elliots on stage for many years. And I think that discipline of that kind of really intense, demanding role with the, the physical stuff as well as the, the, the drama uh, has just been a, fan, a great training ground for him. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he impressed me. Uh, uh, every day. He's also, you know, a, a, a great guy. Th th these are terrific people. Ben Walker's got a fantastic personality. Chris is a blast to be around. Killian Murphy, who can't be here with us today, is, is, is uh, you know, just, uh, uh, just a cool guy. We put together such a remarkable cast, even for some of the guys that didn't have huge parts, because they, they wanted to play these characters. They, they wanted to bring this to life. And this is something that kind of reminded me 
of uh, Apollo 13. Everybody involved in that movie wanted to give it everything they had because they, they respected the story that they were, that they were sharing. Uh, and, uh, and I think that's the way this cast you know, felt about, about this movie. When Warner Brothers began to sort of see what our approach was, which was both very modern and, and intimate, and, uh, but 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 also, of course, has the has the scope and scale. Um, you know that they you know they let me know that they they felt it was going to be appropriate for IMAX, and I was very excited. And on top of that, because we delayed the release of the movie after our test screenings from um, uh, spring to this time of year, um, it allowed time for. The, the Warner Brothers executives, they came to me and said, would you, would you think about a 3D conversion? And I looked at some tests and I realized how excellent that technology has become and I, I agreed to it and I only last week saw the final 3D print and I'm telling you, look, the movie's designed to be a great experience in 2D, that's what we intended and I believe it is, but if you like 3D, I would check it out. I, I, I really was Im impressed by, by uh, um, you know, uh, what, 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 it, what else that brings to the, to the movie. Well, I really hope people will go see this movie in a theater, uh, and everybody's going to think that's be because of box office, but I'm a storyteller, and, and you know, and, and this is really the, 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 the way this movie has been designed to be experienced. It's not just to see it. You know, there's a, there's a, it's, it's the sound design, the music, and, and of course the visuals, you know, are, are meant to be a big, a big screen experience. What they endured at sea um, it w it is, uh, you know, is, is, is we, none of us can can quite uh, um, imagine it in in this in this era, um, and and the interesting thing is is that even though this was a way of life, hunting whales, this was an industry. This was the energy industry of its time. Well, I you know I never really put the two and two together in that regard, but this is the way they were lighting the streets of of big cities around the world. You know, crime rates dropped when they learned how to process whale oil and, and uh, because it burned better and smoother and longer and all that kind of stuff. So, so you know, it, it, was, um, it was a huge economic engine and these people, you know, they weren't out there, you know, trying to have an adventure. They, 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 they were out there trying to feed their families, but, the, but the, the people behind it, of course, were trying to fuel uh, you know, a massive uh, uh, economy. Well, I think that's a, a modern, you know, idea to work with. And so it's another reason that I wanted to approach the movie in a, in a very kind of clear-eyed, contemporary uh, way and give it that perspective.